Hi y'all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. As you might see, I've got a little bit more hair than the cleaning show back in September. Just going to do a new video talking about the control panels that we have available from DA Components and also talk about different inlets and outlets available from DA Components too. So this is the ABC2 controller. Uh, it has the standard uh, Aquatec pump. It comes with the pump filter on the left hand side from the inlet and it comes out with the plastic ring nuts which is also supplied in the kit. Now with this controller, it's a ABC2 controller, this does have pressure switch and dead end and calibration available for those guys who want to use that type of uh, controller and it also comes with a pump cap which protects from water ingress and drips of water. It has the two uh, power cables, the positive and the negative, ready to attach for your battery. It also comes with the fuse holder as well. So you come to the next one. This one is exactly the same pump, exactly the same pump filter, exactly the same inlets and outlets, plastic wing nuts. But this one has the V16 controller. Slightly different to the ones on the market. Uh, it's exactly the same features. You switch it on, you switch it off. But, and then as you switch it on, you can set your floor on the right hand side with a control knob. But this controller does not have pressure switch and dead end and no calibration uh, available because it's uh, down to DA components. Uh, and then we move over to the soft washing controller, control panel, sorry. Exactly the same controller as the window cleaner one, the V16 controller. You switch it on, you set your floor, uh, you check your battery voltage, but this one does not have pressure switch and dead end and no calibration needed as well. But it does have a Vuitton sealed uh, chemical pump pushing out 8.3 litres per minute. It has exactly the same inlets and outlets, like so, the plastic wing nut one straight. I have been asked a few times, can I put a filter on that pump? Yes, you can. You can fit the normal standard pump filter. And what you will find is that the, uh, the stainless steel mesh is actually inside of that one as well. So then you can actually buy the inlets all separate or in a kit. We do have the bends available as the singles and we have the straights set as the singles. And we also have these little kits. We have it in a straight, we have it in a bend. What you find with the kit is it comes like this and it has a, a male thread and it has a male thread. So the it's a 3 8 uh, 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 NPT thread, which threads inside the pumps available from DA components. And then you get your, your wing, your plastic straight or your, or your bend that you want. And then you're going to attach whatever you uh, desire. However, if you don't have any spares like this and something's fell in your van or it's cold temperatures and one of these wing nuts breaks off and it's all leaking, uh, you can also nip down to your local DIY shop, B&Q for Agam's sake, on base and you will need a tap connector with the tap reducer. It comes in a kit like so. You thread this off. This is the key part. And what you'll find is this is exactly the same thread size of the inlets and the pumps filters on the control panels. And what you'll find is it threads on like so. So as you've got that on, you need some PDFE tape. Then you fit the tap connector to. Then what you'll find is you will need the hose lock connection, which fits to the other side of the outlet of the tank. But what I tend to find is these type of connectors, I always get the ones with the stop part in the middle. The reason being is as you pull the connector off, it holds the water back so the water doesn't come through and get everything wet. Uh, these ones are just for the demonstration. Uh, I always advise the hose lock type connectors, which I seem to, see, seem to find that they're, they're a lot better. Uh, so I hope this video has uh, helped you all out and uh, see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Darren Hansbro from Data Components.